hi welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to do nails <laughs> anyway so what i have here is a gel polish on my natural nail so i'm just um shaving off the surface of that gel polish so that the acetone will be able to penetrate and get rid of that gel polish And this is the acetone that I am going to use, which is at Pennywise. So I'm just pouring a little bit out in the same cover that the container came in. And do not forget to moisturize your finger before because the acetone will dry out your skin. Not no if, but maybe it will. Alright, so make sure you get it on all the skin. Including the front part where your fingerprint and fingers. Yes, all day. All day needs to get cream um the better thing in my opinion to use would be a butter like shea butter or something like that but cream could work cream could work so i just dip the cotton in some acetone put it on the finger that i want to take off the gel polish and i'm going to wrap it all up in some foil paper And I let that sit for about a good 20 minutes, maybe more, but 20 minutes for sure. And then I'm taking this cuticle pusher and I'm scraping off the gel polish. As you can see how easy it is to come off because the acetone was able to penetrate because I shave off the surface of that gel polish. Now I am a novice, I'm not a professional nail artist as yet, calling it, I'm claiming it. Anyways, so I prefer, because I don't want to damage my cuticle, to go from the cuticle and push out, right? To get off that gel polish. So I clean off everything with some rubbing alcohol and now it's time to shape my nails and prep the nail bed to put on my false nails. I'm pushing back the cuticle but I'm not pushing it back too far back because like I said I'm not a professional this is me doing it at home okay 
I have been trained by YouTube for the time being. So I want to make sure and be very gentle with my cuticles, okay? Because it's my cuticles. Uh, I want to freak them off. And I'm using these drill bits that are gentle for my fingers because, like I said, I'm a novice, I'm new to this. But don't worry, one day we'll be professional. Anyways, yes, yeah, so I'm just taking my time and trying to shave off some of those extra loose skin and whatever I cannot get with the drill bits, I will clip with the cuticle clipper. And I'm just shaving off a little bit, buffing up, I should say, a little bit off of my nail bed. I'm not taking off too much because I naturally have thin nails, okay? So I don't want to take off too much. And then dust off and use some rubber alcohol in between the cleaning for now, right? This is the nail glue I'm using. It is the best nail glue in my opinion, okay? It does take long to dry, yes. However, however, it does not dry out in the bottle. This is one of the best nail glue I have ever purchased. Ever, ever. And you don't have lifting or anything with this nail glue. Once it is, you cover the um, surface of your nails properly with it, you will have no lifting. Right? So once you have no bubbles in it, you ain't gonna have no lifting with this glue. It's real good. And now I just shave, let me shave. Hmm. What do you call that? File. <laughs> now I just file along the edges to make sure everything nice and smooth. And I'm going in with this foundation base shell. Alright? Now in between time, I clean with rubbing alcohol. And I'm applying the base shell. And then I'm going to cure after I apply the base shell. Okay, so now I'm going to use this gel that I purchased from Pennywise. Now, I do not like this gel, but it is what I have, so I will use it. Okay, but share bottom dollar, I will use it. Anyway, so I'm going to apply that with the gel brush. The reason why I don't like this gel is because it does heat up a lot. The other gel that I used did not heat up, so I don't know if it's because it's not a builder gel. I don't know, but we shall, we will we, we figure it out. Anyways, so uh, applying the gel, I am trying to make sure that there is most of the gel at the stress point of the nail right and then float the rest down to the cuticles and to the nail tip 
that we do not want to be too thick, right? So just float the rest down. And I'm gonna happy with how it looked. I will cure it and come back and do it again. So now that I'm happy with how it looks, I am now going to just shave down the edges to the points where I want it to be shaved down to. Does that make sense? Shape is how I want it to shape, right? <laughs> Long story short. And that's the off. And at this point, I will then wash my hands. Because my nails are sealed off, so there's no nail to absorb water, right? So I wash my hands and yeah, and come back and put some base gel. I don't think you need base gel again because you have gel all over your nails but I was just being extra cautious and I put some more base gel. Now if you watch my team haul, you'll see this was one of the purchases that I made. Right, and it's a nice nude color I am going to use. And this is the package of all the nude colors that came in it. Right, so this is one of them that I'm going to use today. And these colors are extremely sheer, so I applied about three layers of this. I cured in between each layer, right? And after this, I'll be applying the glitter but make sure and cure before you apply the glitter okay and this is from wonderful world i purchased this a while ago um name of it is splash it should still have some wonderful world if you go and check and i'm taking out some in a in the cover because i don't want to double dip in the hole you know whatever that's just me and my extra cautious self right and i'm going to use a makeup brush that i don't use on my face yeah and i'm dabbing it and concentrating for the most of the glitter to be on the tips of my nails When I finish applying to all, I am going to push it down with my finger. Try and make sure it's smooth. I'm not using um, fingers with all gloves. It has to be fingers with gloves on because you don't want the oil from your finger to get on it, right? And then I'm going to encapsulate it with one more coat of that same new color. Now you don't need to encapsulate it with a nude color, you could just encapsulate it with the clear top coat but the reason why I am doing this is because where I am working currently, they kind of don't really like or allow these kind of things so <laughs> I'm trying to dull the shine, long story short. And because some glitter gets on the brush, I am wiping off the brush before I put it back in the container because I don't want no glitters in the polish, okay? No glitters in the polish. I 
And I'm applying another coat again. Because like I said, kind of want the dog to shine a little bit. Even though I didn't think it make much of a difference, I could have just used the clear and be done with it. But anyways, I was trying. I was trying. Alright, so I cured that and now I'm applying the last, the top coat. And I really like this top coat because it's been a week and my nails still looking shiny. So that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> By perfecting off with some rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to apply some cuticle oil that I made myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could make cuticle oil all on your own if you did not know. But, anyways, if you want to see a tutorial on that, let me know and I'll do a video. Mm -hmm. Other than that, this is the finished product. I like what it looks, it looks good for a beginner, right? If you have any zips, please comment it down below you know help us stream out on this new journey of learning to do nails other than that please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and seriously any tips any tips leave it down below